What is good, everybody? Today we are back with brand new WWE action figure news, man. We got some brand new galleries posted up from Action Figure Attack. Steve Ozer, appreciate the man over there, the head of the table over there at Mattel right now. With Bill McKenna making the action figures today, man, we are going to be discussing some brand new figures, talking about them, getting into the details of everything about this set or these sets. There's a few there. I mean, we get a lot shown to us here today. We get to see a lot more details of different figures, and it should be fun, man. Let's go ahead and dive into it. Let's start things off with WWE Elite Series 113 man we have CM Punk returning in the Macho Man gear this is going to be his first figure back in the main elite line we already knew about this figure back at San Diego Comic Con we knew about this whole wave however we didn't I didn't discuss this on the channel but there was apparently a chase there was apparently a chase of this figure that was in black and white that we touched on I never updated you guys but apparently that figure has been canceled this figure is still coming the Macho Man pink yellow white attire is still coming but the chase variant to this set unfortunately has been canceled in terms of the CM Punk there still is another chase in the Carlito which we'll get into but this figure right here does look good but the chase has been canceled but I do like everything going on here you'll notice that his hair is more of a dark brown instead of black but I'm liking everything that I'm seeing I do wish that he didn't have the massive knee pads but that's come to that's really just one of the things they do with CM Punk figures I'm definitely going to be removing those finding some yellow knee pads somewhere else somewhere in my house I know I got to have some yellow knee pads somewhere but the pink gear looks very good we are getting the Nexus armband you got this Nexus CM Punk shirt in here it looks pretty good I'm pretty excited about this figure it's certain angles it looks like the neck's too long but at other angles it doesn't so we'll have to see but this will be our second CM Punk Elite returning since he has come back to WWE we of course just reviewed the defining moment CM Punk the pipe bomb punk you guys missed that review go check that one out but this one will be another nice one two attires and moments of CM Punk that we've wanted from a long for a long time from Mattel getting them immediately after he returns and now that it's been a little bit since he has returned I think all those CM Punk figures are going to be just flowing so it should be very fun but this figure does look good let's move on to the figure that uh, just heavily disappoints me, man. This figure right here just does not look good. We are talking about Tiffany Stratton from Elite 113. And you'll really notice it when it when it ultimately gets to the package shot or the in-package shot, the men-on-card shot. You'll see the head sculpt comparison. This figure just looks nothing like Tiffany Stratton. Like, if I looked at this figure, I wouldn't have any clue who it was. If you just show me the head sculpt and I didn't know that it was Tiffany Stratton, obviously, I, I would not know. It just looks like a random... It looks like a Jax figure of a Tory Wilson or something. You know what I mean? You know how Jax used to like sometimes they had head sculpts that nailed it and sometimes they had some that looked nothing like the character this is one that just looks nothing like tiffany stratton in my opinion and it, it bums me out because the, the gear is sick the white pink and silver is very sweet it's a great gear it's a great gear it's it could it could have been such a great figure and i also feel like they make this figure very very lean i think that it's pretty small for for a tiffany stratton figure and i think that they could have done much better on this figure pretty disappointed in the execution of this one hopefully she will get another one but this one just does not get it for Tiffany Stratton. I just don't see her. I think the, the build is wrong. I think the head sculpt's wrong. They just need to go back to square one. I would start completely over on Tiffany Stratton. This one's a huge miss. Definitely one of the more disappointing figures of 2024 thus far, man. Just not very good. Definitely will be on a worse list at the end of the year by far. Could even be, you know, in the top one. I mean, it, it is that bad to me. I don't, I don't think this figure looks very good. But let's move into Trick Williams, who looks like a damn stud. This figure looks immaculate. And I know that a lot of people would say, oh, his torso is not that big and his arms may not be that big but damn if he doesn't look like a, a Degum superstar man this guy looks immaculate I do like the white and gold and it probably is a bit too muscular you know I'd say I think that it could be leaner in terms of the build and everything but god in heaven Trick Williams is a beast and I like this figure and I, I just think he looks like a stud man it looks like a, just a, a superstar you know and I, I really don't like this torso for anybody really and Trick Williams while he is jacked I, I don't know if I like this specific torso I think they could have played around with the formula maybe they did I, I don't know if this would have been the torso that I would have went with and I don't really have a replacement torso in my brain right now but give it give me enough time I'll try to figure out something we can do with this guy I think the legs are completely salvageable you could probably put these legs on a different torso and arms and make trick a little bit better and more accurate we're gonna play around with it we're gonna see and we'll, we'll we'll get him in here and see the North American title looks good but I I love trick Williams I love the attire it's a great figure in terms of you know just representing him in terms of the head sculpt and everything so we'll have to see we will have to see I like the chain and stuff it's one of those mixed bag figures where I, I can see where they were coming from, but I think that it could be better executed. I, I still like Trick Williams a lot, though, so I am looking forward to the figure in that way. But hopefully, everything will turn out when we get the figure in hand. But let's move on to Dragon Lee. This figure also looks pretty good. I like all the things going on here. Uh, low key, the thighs, I think these are Sin thighs, but just uh, look how good these thighs look because they are that 
thicker muscular mold. Dragon Lee looking like a beast here. He does have a rubber jacket, which I don't like, but I love the boots. I love the white. It's a great base for a bunch of different things as well. I like the mass head sculpts. And speaking of mass head sculpts, we really didn't get into this news, but apparently the Lucha Bros have signed with WWE. So uh, the Penta figures and the Ray Phoenix figures are going to be going insane when we finally get those guys. Can't wait to see what they look like compared to their AW figures. We'll get into that, but I just seeing this Dragon Lee kind of reminded me of Ray Phoenix, which led me into that deal. So apparently the Lucha Bros are coming to the WWE, and that's going to be absolutely absurd. They're going to set the world on fire, the, the bangers that they're going to have, and I can't wait to see their figures, but Dragon Lee does look very good. And then we get into Carlito, who kind of, I don't know what it is, but his face kind of looks like Randy Orton a little bit. You guys seeing that? He kind of has a Randy Orton face. And I don't really know. The eyes look off to me. I, I don't really know. I love Carlito. I, I like this figure. And I'm excited for the boots on this guy because he has the new boot articulation and the new foot mold and the new boots that we talked about at San Diego Comic Con. You know, these new sculpts and things like that. Hopefully, it'll allow for the figures to be better and feel better in hand and stand up better. But Carlito, I'm still looking forward to it. I love the white gear. I love the purple gear as well. The skin tone on this guy is probably not the best either. I think they could go back to the drawing board on that. Hopefully, they could fix that in the future. I, I love Carlito. I love the apple hand, you know, with the holding the apple, the cloth goods. It being a Carlito is fantastic. We do know he's coming in a later Legends line. I don't mind the formula either. I, I want to like this figure a lot. I just think that it could be improved. You know what I mean? Oh, and I just noticed that the apple is loose. I was afraid that it would just be a sculpted, you know, apple in the hand. But they actually have a apple holding hand and then you have an apple separately so that's pretty good that is pretty damn good i like that next his next elite needs to be a chewing face or a spitting face and then have like a hand that has an apple in it that's bitten out of. I think that would be cool. But I like both versions of this Carlito. Pretty cool figure. Still looking forward to it, even if the likeness isn't the greatest and the skin tone's not right and all this different stuff. I still like the figure a lot in a lot of ways, so we'll see what comes of it. And we're going to keep things moving, man. We have Elite 113 Kofi Kingston right here that looks pretty good. It's, you know, we are featuring the new John Cena shoe mold here. This is the, or not the, you know, not the new John Cena shoe mold, but the new sneaker mold here that I'm very excited for, obviously, to see how it's going to compare to the other John Cena shoe mold is going to hold up over time. All those different things are going to be known here. And I hope to paint some swooshes on here, get the guy going, making it look good. And I'm excited for the Kofi, even if it is. I mean, it's kind of a repaint of the Elite 96. I know it's a different head sky. It's like the same neck to, to shoes, except for the John Cena shoe mold. But I, I this is the different era of Kofi where he's wearing high top sneakers with no kick pads, which is fine, you know. But hopefully this figure will be good. It looks good. I like the likeness. It'll match our Elite 112 Xavier, but we'll have to see what comes of it. And I'm excited to see. I wish it had shin cut. We've talked about this, but can't wait to see what the new sneaker mold feels like and looks like, so that'll be good. But now we're moving on to the Royal Rumble Elite Wave, man, and I want to talk about this first. It is the Cody Rhodes, and I, you guys know that I was in person. I was front row for this figure. I was front row for this matchup in this moment when he won the Royal Rumble, and it was awesome. As a big Cody fan and as a big fan of this gear in the moment and being there live in person, I'm kind of skeptical on this figure. If you look, the, look at these images and how it progresses through, I don't like the way he's standing, man. That has me kind of worried. You see how he's standing? He's kind of has like, his knees are slightly bent. He's kind of leaned forward a little bit and he's kind of, I don't I don't know what it is. Something about this makes me think that the figure is not going to stand up very well. It's on pinless legs, which has me worried. These are the brand new sculpted boots. These are the new boots that we got, you know, all the praise was about at San Diego Comic Con we talked about as well. And I don't know, I'm kind of worried. I'm kind of worried at the way he's standing out. We won't know until we get it in hand. This has me worried. I'm not going to lie to you. I just don't like the way he's standing. It makes me think that something, either something's too stiff or something is not going to be fluent and that kind of worries me. You know, we talk about the pinless joints all the time. This looks like it could be a scary situation, so we'll have to, you know, break all that down once it gets here, but I don't know. I'm still excited for the figure because of all the things we've already mentioned, but we only got one image of this figure last time, so to see the full 360 and see what the figure is going to look like and the gear, it is sick as hell. I like it. Head sculpt doesn't look to be the defining moments head sculpt. I thought it was going to be, but they still did the weird eyes from the top pick, so I don't, I don't really know. It looks good in certain images and other images it doesn't, but this is the Royal Rumble 2024 set or 2025. I can't remember. I think it's 2025, but it is going to be the great Kali build a figure set there and... I'm not hyped for it, but I'm also not hyped for it. We'll have to see about it. But the next figure is going to be the Hurricane. We talked about this figure at Comic-Con as well. He does have Johnny Gargano Syndrome, but they do that a lot with Hurricane. I, I, you know, I kind of already knew that coming in, so I'm not going to really lose my mind on it. But I like this gear. I like this head sculpt. I think it looks good. It's very similar to other Hurricanes we've gotten, but it is an updated head sculpt. And it looks like he's kind of cross-eyed a little bit, but I do like the likeness in the head sculpt. Head sculpt does also look kind of big. It's on the bigger side, so... We'll see about that. You know, Hurricane did have his boots kind of looking like this. I still don't like it for, you know, just for certain reasons. I can't stand the short kick pad mold, but we will have to get into the details once it reaches here. I'm also noticing that the Great Khali, 
you know, he's so massive, but look, he has standard fists. Like, if you look at the fists, Hurricane's fists and Great Khali's fists are the exact same size. That's a problem for me. That bothers me. It's just a detail right there that could really improve the figure a lot. I, I, God, man, that's just one of those details that'll, you know, sit with you at night, keep you, keep you awake, but we also have Diesel here in the white and black. Just recently got a Diesel figure, but this is obviously a different moment in time. But not a bad figure, just not going to move the needle too much for me. It is the Ruthless Aggression head sculpt. And the, the gear is actually sick. I, anything that's like white with like solid black over it is such a clean aesthetic. So the, the singlet here for Diesel is sick as hell. It's just not something that I'm much looking forward to. He also comes with the brand new legs of the Great Kali there with the jogger pants for cuffs down there. But that is the Diesel figure. And then we're moving on to the last figure in the set, which is going to be Hulk Hogan. And he does come with the big, you know, bed sheet or towel there that says Hulkamania will live forever. And, you know, this is kind of a run-of-the-mill Hulk Hogan figure, but it is a good moment. And it's, I mean, it's pretty much an Elite 96 re-release is exactly what this is, but it does come with a new accessory. And it's going to move because it is Hulk Hogan, but this is the Elite 96 just redone. You do get a cool accessory. It comes with Great Kali's head. It's just not the, not the best ever, but it is a cool men on card figure as well. I like the way it looks where it has Hulkamania will live forever right there in the packaging. It is cool. It's a cool release. It's just the exact same thing over and over again so do with that what you will if you like it you like it if you don't you don't but we do have the great Kali build a figure here which is a figure that everybody's been waiting on for a long time we do get some newness going on right here which looks good I like the pants a lot I like how baggy they are I like how you have that intense detail there he looks like a menace to society I cannot wait to have this figure pose him around this great Kali is going to be an absolute unit I cannot wait to pose him around but again his fist did look standard size I wish they would have used the Andre the Giant hand mold so that he would have big hands even if his hands weren't as big as Andre the Giant. It just would make sense, right? So I don't know. But the Great Kali looks like a beast. I can't wait to add this to the collection. I hope that I'm able to build a few of these just for different fix-ups or customs that you could do. That would be awesome. So we'll see about it. But I do like the Great Kali. Hopefully we'll get him later down the line with the all-black debut pants, you know? So we'll see. But I like the Great Kali figure a lot, and I can't wait to get this figure in hand. It just looks awesome. And this looks like a pretty solid wave overall. I'm excited for the Royal Rumble 2025 set. And then last but not least, we do have the Ultimate Edition Target exclusive Dusty Rhodes, and this looks like a beast, man. This looks like possibly the best Dusty we've ever seen. I really like the the expression of head sculpts. I think the head sculpts are some of the best we've seen of Dusty. I like the polka dot and everything. You know, it's polka dot Dusty. It just it just looks great. I think it's going to pose around well. It should have good, you know, it should have good poseability in comparison to other Dusties that we've seen in the past. You know, back in the day, his legs used to be very stiff. I think this one's actually going to be able to move around, so I'm excited for that. You guys know that it usually, or if you didn't know, most Dusty Rhodes Elite, they usually have the Rey Mysterio Elite 1 thing where you kick the leg forward and it goes back in place. I think this one's going to be different because obviously, because he's going to have the drop down hips, he's going to have ball joints and such so this dusty should be very poseable but i like a lot of the details here it should be a fun one and i can't wait to find this i imagine this should be hitting retail pretty soon just like, you know, the rest of these figures, I imagine they're going to be hitting soon. I don't know how they wouldn't be hitting soon, but I am excited for Elite 113. Out of all of this, it's tough to say. It's really hard because there's so many great figures that are coming, but I, I am pretty... The biggest disappointment for me has got to be the Tiffany Stratton, though. The Tiffany Stratton figure was just such a letdown. I, I really... You can't even talk about it. It just looks... It just doesn't look like Tiffany Stratton whatsoever, but that was all of the galleries that we had posted up, man. We had Elite 113, we had the Royal Rumble set, and we did have the Dusty roads and i'm sure we probably will get some more stuff that's coming soon i know the outsiders figures are also coming soon the ringside exclusive outsiders two pack the ultimate edition two pack i imagine those are going to be hitting any day now as well but i think that is pretty much going to wrap up the news for today man i'd love to know what your thoughts are on all of this stuff down in the comment section below another figure that should be hitting soon is going to be the cm punk survivor series return debut gear or whatever where he walked out in the in the jeans i think that figure should be hitting also very very soon or shipping from Mattel Creation so we'll see as the, about that and then uh, we have a lot coming we have a lot coming here at the end of the year so it should be fun and I can't wait for it and am I not tripping or is like isn't it like Ringside Fest not too far away or something isn't that in like October or somewhere like that I, I swore I swear Ringside Fest is usually somewhere around here where even even if they don't you know, have an event itself, which I think they have to plan a year out, so I don't think they're going to do Ringside Fest this year. Hopefully, it, you know, I think they are trying to, you know, get in talks back to a return of that, but hopefully 
If they have an in-person event, we can go out there and cover that. But if they don't have that and they have it online, we should get a stream of a bunch of reveals very soon as well. So we'll see about all that stuff. But I'm getting the hell out, man. I hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me all of your thoughts on these figures down in the comment section below. What are you hyped for? What are you disappointed in? Let me know all those things down below. But I'm getting the hell out. Huge shout out to our Patreon members, man. Appreciate all those fellas. Thank you guys so very much for your support as always. You guys are absolutely goaded. And I appreciate each and every one of you. But I'm getting the hell out. I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed one. And I'll catch you guys later. <laughs>